at Family Dental Care of Medina uh, take pride on, in helping everyone that comes here as if they were our own family. We want to you know, make everybody feel important because they're important to us. So I've always done the dentures the traditional way, the way I was taught at school, step one, two, three, four, and then deliver. When I was a resident, I had the opportunity to kind of look into the digital denture world because the lab was training for it, but I never got to finish a case. So this is the very first time that it, the opportunity comes to, to do the digital denture. I, I'm actually super pumped and excited that someone suggested it and I'm like, okay, let's learn about it. And I can't wait to see the tray-in, the digital piece, the actual denture. Um, and we'll go from there. Hopefully we won't have to make any adjustments and be able to give Elmer his, his dentures right away. I don't know if that will be a concern with how long we can keep records on file. So I don't know if there is a limit of time that you can keep that and still make it work. So that will be something that I'll be interested to know, but I think it's a great idea because so many, we have had so many times, my dog got a hold of my partial, my dog got a hold of my denture, and now we have to start from scratch making a new one. That takes forever, so <laughs> that will be great. So I'm excited about it. Row Lab made the process very easy. The flow was amazing. Their support from coming to teach me how to do a digital denture, to picking up the case. It was really an amazing experience. The challenges that I perceived to start a digital denture was the try-in phase. You know, I'm old school, traditional. Uh, it's, I, I rely on the try-in phase almost like I cannot complete a case without doing it. I, it doesn't sit well with me, but um, so I, I was thinking myself, oh, that's going to be very difficult. To describe the digital denture process, I would say the steps that I do here in the office with the patient, it, it was not different. Well, the try-in was different. Um, but then I did like I typically do. I did my first impression, did my custom trace, second impression, um, did bite registration just like I normally do with any denture, um, and then the try-in. That was a different spot, like a 3D printed denture, that looks one color only and doesn't let you see the contrast between the pink of the gums and the color of the teeth. Um, that was the only difference. You know, we still did the try-in. It turned out great. And then the final results then, you know, even better. When I saw the Evotion denture, open the box, I see the dentures, I was really happy. They look natural. The pink acrylic, the gum even has some like texture to it. I couldn't wait to see them in Elmer's mouth. Today's appointment for the delivery was very easy to put the dentures in, check the bite, check for pressure points. We typically do that in any denture that we deliver and then we will continue to follow up with the patients for any necessary adjustments. But today's visit was really easy and it really didn't take that much. I didn't even have to adjust that much. He kept looking in the mirror, he was smiling. I hope he's happy. It was really, really rewarding to see his smile on his face. Elmer is like my father. I will, you know, treat it like, he's, like if he's my father.